Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Adam with AK Lighting here to help you install and or improve your own landscape lighting. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna go over how to wire up multiple wires in the transformer. And with that being said, I'm gonna jump right into the video. All right, so we've got two wires here. That's pretty common for an installation. Um, two wires can handle quite a few lights, especially because everything's LED now. So let's say one wire is a main wire for the left side of the front of the house and the other one is for the right side of the front of the house. And so we are going to wire this up. Make sure that you do it correctly because if you don't do it correctly, you can either cause your landscape lighting to be dim, flicker, not turn on, or you keep shutting off the transformer. So we're gonna make sure, I'm gonna make sure that I walk through this with you. So the first thing you're gonna do is strip the wire and make sure that you get it the right spot on the wire strippers and for the distance, have it about the width of your thumb because you want to be able to have enough where you can put this into the terminal in the transformer. But if you have too much, you can actually have copper sticking out and that is not good because a lot of times if you have too much sticking out, it can touch the other wires as well, causing the transformer to trip. So that's a good length. For the wires, you wanna split them apart because you're gonna be plugging one end into one terminal and then the other end, the other half, into one of the other terminals, 12 volts through 15 volts. So get one half of each of the wires. So we have two main wires, so you'll have two of the wires twist it together and we're gonna put it in the commons. And that, this is the same thing if you have three or four or five wires, you wanna put them all, one of the halves of all the wires into the commons. And then the other half, you put it into the 12 volts through the 15 volts. All right, so we'll say that the left side of the house is closer to the transformer. So because it's closer, we don't need to have a lot of juice or power going to those lights. So we're gonna put that in the 12 volt um, tap. And then for the far side, the right side, we're gonna put that in the 13 volt tap. And then the 14 and 15 volts, a lot of people have questions about those. You don't need to put your wires on that unless you're running wire 150 feet or further. And make sure that you have 12 2 gauge because that gauge really helps make so that there's not a voltage drop. Now, a voltage drop means that if you have it on the 12 volt tap, you're, the furthest light away from the transformer is not going to have 12 volts of power given to it. It's going to have a drop. And so the smaller the wire, the bigger the drop. So if you have a 12 volts and you're using 14 2 or 16 2 gauge wire, you're gonna drop probably three volts. And so you'll have nine easily. And then the further you go, the, the, the crazier jumps there are. And then the things that will happen is the lights at the end of the run will either not work or they'll be dim or they'll start to strobe. So to fix that problem, make sure that you have 12 two gauge wire and then you can move the wire up a voltage. All right, when you're finished, make sure that you tug on the wires to make sure that they do not pop out and they're nice and tight. Here is the fail switch. This is the on and off switch. So if you ever trigger your transformer to shut off, that's what will happen right there. And it's in different places in different uh, transformers. Here is the photo cell. If you have a photo cell, it will be plugged in on the side. You will pull out this plastic piece and then plug the photo cell into there. Don't lose that plastic piece because it is important if you don't wanna use a photo cell anymore. If you wanna use a timer, then plug this wire into the, plug this into the timer. You can set the time in the middle, that's the time of day, in the top left, that's how you turn it on and off manually. This is a 300 watt transformer. Make sure you don't go over 2.5 amps. And most of the time that's pretty easy to not go over because it is um, all LED system. If you wanna make it a Wi-Fi transformer, use this Casa Smart Wi-Fi Outdoor Plug. There are a lot of different options out there. This is the one that I like the most because it's very affordable. You can get it on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below and in the comments. It has two plugs. So if you have a transformer for the front yard and the transformer for the backyard, you can use both of the 
um, put both of the transformers plugged into this, and then you can use the app to turn it on and off separately. And if you'd like to have a Wi-Fi transformer, there aren't very many out there. There's one that I sell in the kit that I offer that is not only Wi-Fi transformer, but it also has zoning capabilities, so up to three zones, which is pretty cool. That's the only transformer out there that actually has that ability. So if you wanna customize your landscape lighting and have a little bit more control, then that is perfect for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. And if you haven't taken advantage of the free PDF that I put together that goes over the top 10 things you need to know for starting installing your landscape lighting, feel free to sign up for that. Feel free to check out these couple videos right here if, they, if you find them interesting. And with that being said, best of luck with your landscape lighting project and I'll see you in the next video.